everybody, it's Adam, and I am here with Dr. Craig Smith. Who to me, Adam, I was recently diagnosed with mild to moderate aortic regurgitation. So I'm curious to learn about the future of heart valve treatment. What do the surgeons see as the most exciting technologies that could go mainstream in the next 10 years? Well, before getting to the exciting new technologies, it's fair to say that if your regurgitation is only mild to moderate, it could be quite a while, even more than 10 years before anything is relevant. Is something that needs to be followed, and I'm sure Leslie's cardiologist will be following her at appropriate intervals. But uh, the 10 year time frame might even be too near on the horizon. But if that's not the case, and she does need treatment in the first, in the next 10 years or so, two or three things. One, the, the most exciting new thing that's out there the percutaneous valve replacements using a catheter instead of open heart surgery are not as far along for regurgitation as they are for obstructive valves. So if she has a pure kind of regurgitation based on stretch of the aorta, loose, floppy, thin leaflets without a lot of calcification, it may be quite a while before the percutaneous technologies come along to that to treat that entity as well as it treats stenotic valves. What we know here, she may have a mixed element. This may be a stenotic valve that's also leaking. In which case, within 10 years, the percutaneous replacements may be highly relevant and might allow people like Leslie to avoid open heart surgery. It will depend, to a great extent, how quickly that technology moves down the risk scale. I'm guessing, just from the fact she sounds like a young woman, she probably is very low risk probably in the next five to ten years that the percutaneous valves will be available for people in, in her category. If it, coming back to what she may have, which is a pure regurgitation syndrome, often based on problems with the leaflets, the structure and quality of the leaflets, there is also more and more success last five years or so with primary repair of the leaflets rather than replacement. That is still, however, an open heart procedure. So putting it all together, I'd say odds are if something has to be done in the next decade, it will involve open heart surgery. If the percutaneous devices progress rapidly, then it might be something that's relevant for someone like Leslie. Got it. Well, Dr. Smith, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I just want to acknowledge you for all the great work you've done with the patients out there. I know you've helped a lot of them, so I just want to thank you for uh, all the clinical work and the research that you're doing to help move uh, heart valve treatment to better places. So thank you so much.